going to be showing you StarPub. I mean, what StarPub is, is it's Microsoft's new thing for Office 365. And it has the ability to do staff schedules and timesheets. So you can schedule who's working, when they're working, and also what sort of jobs they do. So if you have like four people, let's say take a restaurant, for example, because that's what I'm going to use in this example. If you had, you know, some chefs and some waiters and some people that do dishes, then you can use all of those people in groups and you can schedule the group so you can easily see who's available for which group. Anyway, I'll switch you over to my screen. So this is StarPub here. And uh, well, this is the StarPub website. So you can see meet StarPub. It's for staff workers, the go-to for everything for work, they reckon. And let's scroll down a bit more, see what else they say. So it also has a mobile app, which I'll show you as well. And you can see the plans and pricing. So let's check them out. So you can buy the kiosk plan by itself, or I think it's the E1, E3, and E5 plans. Let's just check. So yeah, yeah, K1, E1, E3, or E5, or you can just buy the Chaos plans if that suits you better. Now, each staff member that's going to use Staff Hub will need a license. So for like, let's say, for example, the staff may only need the Chaos licenses and you can use E3s if you need email and document storage and stuff like that. So let's take a look at what Staff Hub looks like. So basically in here, We've got at the top our dates, and it tells us that it's unpublished. We've got our staff here, and these are our groups. So we can add a new group if I click in there and let's say um, bookkeeping, and we'll add. Um, Kurt as a bookkeeper. So you can put first name, last name, and then phone number, and this will send them a text. You can also pick your country so it goes to the right place. So this will send them a text with a link to join Staff Hub, and they will need to log in with their Office 365 credentials. So they'll need a license. So let's, oh, I didn't click add. So Kurt, so we're not going to. You can also just put people in here without adding a license. So you can just use this as a tool and not actually have the staff be able to log in. But with the login stuff, it's pretty cool as well. So let's start scheduling our week. So let's say John, our chef, is going to be working in the morning. We'll say 6 a.m. till... 1 p.m. You can put any notes on here. Let's say John is cooking. And you can put a break in here too if you wanted to. Say he's got a half hour break in there. Save. And if we click again and go add shift, it will remember the last shift. Save. And let's say Tobias. We'll give you these sort of preset ones too, so you can create shifts. So that's just ad hoc. We can also create a new shift from 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. and we'll make that blue. And we'll create another shift from 12, 30 p.m. till, oh, whoops. Twelve forty-five p.m. till 7.45 p.m. And they have one break in there as well.
So then you can just click on them and allocate shifts here. And we'll put a couple of others in here as well. Obviously you wouldn't do it like I'm doing it. You'd probably put a little bit more thought into it than what I'm doing. We need a dishwasher as well. And Isaac can have that shift. And our bookkeeper is going to come in on Thursday. I think that's Thursday, Wednesday. So now we've got our timesheet made. We can also put in notes for the days. Say so Tuesday will be busy. Have a party booked. Then we can publish it. So as you can see, it's from the 15th to the 21st, which is today. But we're gonna start it from there. And you can select how many weeks that you want it to run for. Or if you wanted it to run for months, you could select months and say, that's gonna be the shifts for the next three months. Let's do that, publish it. So now you see up here, it says published. We can go out and take a look at the month. That'll give us our month view. And we can go to the right and do that as well. So let's at the same time schedule this user as well, which is me, my demo account. And I'll just cast this to my computer. There we go. So now we've got the Staff Hub app. We log in. Sign in. And it tells me I've got no upcoming shifts. So you've also got team chat in here and requests. So let's say I wanted to swap or offer a shift. I can say offer my shift. Oh, I better schedule a shift. Let's see. Schedule a couple of shifts into the future. And now I'll re-mirror this iPhone. Let's close the app. Here we go. So I've got two upcoming shifts in the next four days. I can click on them. And if there was any notes, I can see them and also see who else is working that day. So it's a pretty good tool to collaborate like as an employee, so you know who you're working with. It also has the ability to request a shift change. So let's say I wanted to request some time off and say vacation, or if it's unpaid or a sick day or parental leave, select a date, all that stuff. You also have the ability to request to swap shifts. So let's say this shift here, and a team member doesn't have another shift, but you can see what I mean. If we go offer my shift, um, hose. Oh, because these ones haven't been added yet with the emails and all that stuff can't swap the shifts, but you can see what I mean. Um, I've also got the team chat, so I could choose a name. No one else is on this, but, and we can also share files. 
So that's basically it. We've got the quick view in the calendar. So you can see you're working that day, that day. These are your other shifts. And that's pretty much the whole mobile app summed up. You can see our team members. And if they have any shifts, see when they're working. Uh, switch team, I don't think is going to do anything. No, I'm pretty sure switch team is for when you're employed by more than one company. So I'm not sure how that works. I haven't been able to get it to work so far. So that's basically the quick introduction into Staff Hub. If you have any questions or anything, just give me a uh, comment on this video. So that was basically the quick introduction into Staff Hub. If you have any questions, leave a comment down there in the comment section and I will most likely answer it, but I can't guarantee that I will, but I'll try. And uh, if you're thinking about using it, let me know and tell me how it goes in a production environment. I haven't actually seen it in production as it's only been out, what, a week now, I think, or two weeks. But yeah, I'm thinking it looks pretty good, especially if your company's already using Office 365. Say you've already got 30 staff on an Office 365. It is a pretty good way to just schedule staff leave, vacations, um, even if you don't have shift workers. It looks pretty good for that sort of stuff. So yeah, don't forget like and subscribe to see more and I will talk to you later.